The following is brought to you by the Law Offices of Gersowitz, Lebo, and Korik. A congested area like Manhattan have cars, buses, taxi cabs, pedicabs, rollerbladers, bicycles, and many other forms of non-motorized transportation competing for a limited amount of space on heavily trafficked avenues. You've got double parked cars, you've got trucks that are unloading to the near super, to the supermarket on the corner, and you've got pedestrians crossing in the crosswalk and sometimes out of the crosswalk. And what are the obligations and the respective rights and duties of pedestrians and motorists? So New York City, as a matter of fact, has just recently lowered the speed limit from 30 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour. And this is because of a confluence of pedestrian, tragic pedestrian fatalities and other accidents that have occurred. We also have a situation where there are certain avenues in New York that are known as boulevards of death because the traffic lights themselves don't allow enough time for pedestrians children and the elderly to cross three or four lanes of heavily trafficked roadways that form arteries throughout some of the busiest areas in our city. So this is quite a problem uh, and uh, the uh, city has taken measures to address it. But it's very important that uh, statistics be kept as to uh, where the accidents are, how the accidents occurred, the similarity between the happening of these pedestrian motor vehicle accidents so that steps can be taken to change a light signal, for example, a traffic signal sequence to give more time for a pedestrian to cross the street. It's important to at least consult with an attorney so that the attorney can give advice and let someone know what his or her legal rights are. Again, knowledge, is power. If you or a loved one has been injured due to negligence, please call 800-529-9997 or visit LawyerTime.com. Put the team at Gersowitz, Lebo & Cork to work for you.